Let's take a look at replacing the fuel pressure limiting valve here on this Dodge truck with a high pressure common rail Cummins engine. Now this is where the fuel comes from the CP3 or this the high pressure injection pump comes into this limiting valve and then it runs into the high pressure common rail here itself. So first things first we have to make sure that it's really clean no debris then I'm going to remove the banjo bolt on the top of the valve here. And I'm going to have to use some caution here in a minute when this comes up because we, we don't want to lose the sealing washers that go between this fitting and the valve. So I can pick this up here. As you can see, Fuel pressure is bled off, so I always have to be careful about that. There, now I've got both my washers out. I'm going to set those off to the side here a minute. And then I'm going to have to move our line off to the side here a little bit. And then it will allow me to take a 24 millimeter socket, slide it over on top of the valve itself. And break it loose. And we'll get it up off of there as well. Now we can remove the plugs used to keep our old or our new one clean. And we can thread it in here by hand. Now we've got that tightened down by hand, I'm going to take my socket extension and a torque wrench here set to 52 foot-pounds and tighten this down. I'm going to give it a little bit more than 52 because I'm using extension here which might skew my accuracy a little bit. But once we've got that torqued into place, now we can bring our line back over here. Use our sealing washers. I'm going to slide that in between the valve and the line. I'm going to take my bolt with the sealing washer on it as well. And we'll get that started on the top here. Once I've got my banjo bolt good and tight with my fingers, I'm going to take my torque wrench again and set it to 18 foot-pounds and tighten it down the rest of the way. We'll give it a, make sure it's good and snug there. And now we're gonna clean it off. We'll start the truck up, ensure we have no leaks, and the job is done. We've just replaced the fuel pressure limiting valve on this Dodge truck with a Cummins high pressure common rail engine.